Richards, no rockers. Welcome to Kevin Richards from Rock the Stage NYC.com. I'm here in the uh, Singers Forum here in New York City, where I get most of my in-person lessons. Um, just want to give you some quick vocal tips here that I give some of my students uh, when they come in for lessons with me, either here or when I do them online versus with, with, with uh, Skype. Online lessons with me. This is a is a, a quick tip I give a lot of them to how to think about their voice as they're either vocalizing their exercises or just singing in general. If you think of the voice like a piano, when I hit this note, when I hit this note, even though they're three octaves apart, the volume is exactly the same. This note and this note are the exact same volume. This higher note is not louder than this note. This note only gets louder if I really press into it. Think of your voice the exact same way. You want to have a one voice quality. Your voice to blend appropriately, your voice has to stay pretty much the same volume from bottom to top, top to bottom. Only get loud when you want to. Volume should be an option, not a necessity. You shouldn't have to get louder to sing high notes. It should only be loud if you want it to be loud. You should be able to sing a high C. Softly. Get loud if you want. Now, another quick tip I give them is to think of your voice like a pyramid or a triangle. Think of your voice as a triangle. The notes at the bottom are big and wide, heavy. And as you sing forward in pitch, the voice gets smaller and narrower as you go to the top. So by the time you get to your high notes, they're very small and very thin sounding. You don't want to be too thin, but you want them to feel small. If you try to sing high notes with this bottom heavy, bottom of the triangle heaviness, they don't work. Here's an example. If I sing from the octave, the C below middle C to middle C, you can hear that bottom note has a lot of weight to it, a lot of chesty voice resonance to it. Even though this is a very neutral chest voice, you can already hear that some of that bassy, that weightiness, is starting to come out of the voice. If I sing from middle C to an octave above middle C, you can hear how my voice has gotten smaller and thinner. That's the secret. And the two octaves right there, the voice did not change. You didn't hear a huge shift in tonality, and you didn't hear an increase or decrease in volume. It was even all the way across those two octaves. Now if I go to the F, again, one voice quality. It sounded like the same person singing from bottom to top. The voice just got thinner and smaller as I went to the top and I stayed connected. Keep these in mind when you're vocalizing any exercise from any course, mine or anyone else's, or you're just singing. The top notes have to be smaller and thinner. Think of the voice as a triangle. Then it gets wide at the bottom. The voice has a lot of bassiness at the bottom, a lot of meat, meat and potatoes at the bottom. And as you go to the top, they're more pasta salad. You know, they get lighter as you go to the top. So think of this when you vocalize it next time. Till next time I'll see you. This is Kevin Richards from RockTheStageNYC.com. Visit me online. You can take in-person lessons with me if you're in the New York City area, or you can catch me online via Skype. I'll give you lessons that way. Or you can buy my course, Breaking the Chains, at RockTheStageNYC.com slash chains. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards. See ya!